All right, folks, I'm off to uh, preload a load to take up tomorrow. Uh, oh, they don't make these uh, trucks that big, eh? They don't make them that big. I get in it, I gotta kneel down. I mean, I'm not that tall of a guy, but I gotta kneel down. I had to get in. Um, yeah. Anyways, that's that. I gotta duck my head to get in my truck. Um, I'm only, I don't know, I'm only six feet tall, I guess. So, anyways, I'm off to work. As I was saying, I'm off to work. I gotta go preload a load. Uh, I take it up tomorrow, early in the morning, to deliver. I'm going to be coming back tomorrow and preloading again for another load going back up to the same rig um, oh, I'm gonna stop here first I gotta grab a coffee because I can't start my day without Tim Hortons coffee and no this is not sponsored by Tim Hortons but boy I love their coffee a lot of people go to McDonald's but I like Tim Hortons and I will always love Tim Hortons I do not I'm not uh, a strong coffee person like I don't like my coffee strong I like it good, but I don't like it strong. And Tim, and Tim Hortons does it right. I find McDonald's, their coffee is strong. So people that do like Tim Hortons, obviously they like strong coffee. Um, so I uh, just gotta make this turn, pay attention for a sec. Lady going across the crosswalk. Uh, put on my seatbelt. Now that I'm out on the roads here, uh, turn that AC off. It is cold. Not a very warm day, not a very nice day. Uh, it's 13 degrees out today and cloudy. So I'm going to stop here, grab a coffee at Tim Hortons, and then I'll head to work and we'll see you there. All right, folks, so I just arrived at work here. I'm just pulling in to park my truck and my pickup here, and then I'm going to jump into my truck and wait until you see what happened. They decided to change my truck. I am not impressed. Well, I mean, I am and I'm not. Uh, I'm not, uh, not totally impressed about it, but that ain't too bad. Just let me... Uh, back up here get parked okay see if I can do this all in, uh, in sequence put that under my arm grab my keys oh, I gotta grab my fuel cards too I have them put in here as a safe spot so I wouldn't lose them while I was on vacation okay fuel cards are in keys are so there, grab my coffee. Okay, I'm trying to do this all in the uh, holding this. It's not easy to do with with one hand. So just bear with me here a second. All right, folks. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. All right, folks. So as you can see, I'm walking my pickup parked there. I'm heading. Look at that old Jeep, eh? Man, those things are awesome. So, wait until you see this, folks. I'm not too impressed, but hey, it happens. They changed the color of my truck. It is no longer pink. It is now red. I am so upset. <laughs> not really, folks. I mean, it is what it is. It's it's what they were uh, they were planning on doing anyway. So they did it and now it is done um, I have to deal with it so that's what happens uh, you go on vacation and they change stuff up so let's see here now if I can uh, get another picture there so there you have it folks they changed the color of my truck I'm gonna 
do a little pre-trip here and I'll get back to you in a few minutes. All right, folks, so I'm gonna wind up the dolly legs here, uh, get this here done. trailers it's a rented trailer um, it was just in the yard and I know that this trailer being a rented trailer is good to go so I feel safer not to say that our company trailers are uh, terrible but um, the guys basically just they don't report anything it needs to be fixed and then uh, I end up hooking to it and then I get caught up on it so that's what happens. Uh, they don't report it. So here we're gonna hook up the uh, the airlines and the electrical, which is pretty easy. It's not a hard thing to do. <coughs> and uh, one hand, uh, throw this one up up in there. Get this up. Hopefully uh, the camera view are not too shaky. Trying to. Do this quick. I don't like to put around. I like to get stuff done. Um, I'm used to driving highway, so that's why I kind of rush at everything. Uh, but now I just, like I said, I drive for the oil patch. I'm paid by the hour, but I still, I still have that mo, mo, uh, momentum to to work my ass off. Um, just because that's just who I am. Uh, what am I doing here? I want to throw on all the lights four ways. Okay, and let's walk back and take a look at the back of the trailer. Make sure that everything is good. Light there is good. Here, I'll get you guys so you can see. That light is good. Alright, folks, so we finally got everything all set up. We did our pre trip and everything. Uh, I just want to make sure before I leave, just to double check, you got to make sure those are up. You do not want to be caught with those down. <laughs> it's like being caught with your pants down, right? It's not a good thing. You do not want those airbags to be down. You want them up. That way uh, you don't get pulled over by a DOT and get a stupid fine for just not checking your airbags. Because I don't know about anybody else, but trust me, it's happened to me. It was a dumb mistake. So basically, uh, let me just turn that down. Sorry about that, my hand in the way. So basically what happened is uh, my airlines were frozen. It was a winter time. Uh, I put the air on to air it up. It, it aired up, but when the, when the, frozen come out of the line here I instead of airing it up I released the air so when the, it on froze the air came out and it dropped my airbags and I got caught with my pants down so it was a lesson learned um, so now when I do a, I do it um, because our company our company trailers do not indicate whether they're in or out right the, the, because it's got a little valve on it, right? A little valve, you switch to the left or the right. Um, and ours doesn't indicate which is open and which is closed. So it was, it was a stupid little mistake, but I did it. Uh, I paid the consequences, paid the fine. The fine was, I believe, uh, for an uh, improper inspection, I think it was a vehicle. Uh, I think the fine was, it was probably quite expensive. I think it was... If I'm not mistaken, I think it was like $269 or something. And that's Canadian dollars. So in the U.S., that's probably, I don't know what what the U.S. fines would be like. But I, I would say, like, in the U.S., it would probably be around 
210 dollars 220 something like that i don't know what the exchange would be by that much but it was quite expensive 269 dollar fine i looked at the cop and i said i bet you you're gonna eat fine tonight <laughs> he kind of laughed at me right because he knew that you know it was like a little steep for uh, or uh, maybe it was more I, I can't remember to be honest but yeah no, actually, I'm lying. I believe it was $410. Because when I looked at it, I said, holy shit. I said, you're going to eat good tonight, aren't you? <laughs> and he laughed. He thought it was hilarious when I said that to him. Um, but, yeah, it was it was a lesson learned. I plan on never having that happen again because, boy, that, you know, you know, I make good money. Don't get me wrong. But I hate giving it away to the government. You know, it's not like they don't take enough of our taxes anyways. That we have to be giving it away to them. So anyways, folks, I'm all loaded up here. Or not loaded up, but I'm all pre-tripped. Ready to go to the site where I'm going to get loaded. So, see what I can do. I don't know what the law is. A video camera over there. So, um, maybe I can without anybody knowing. And uh, everything will be fine. We'll see. But... Let's uh, let's see you over there. All right, folks. So I just realized something. Uh, I got here to load my load, and they uh, wanted to load it. Uh, the load weight of the pipe is 55,000 kgs, and then I look at this sticker here, and they fucked up. They put 46,000 kgs, 46.5. Um, my gross weight is actually 63.5. Uh, because we have a, we have a step deck, right? So that's that's weight. So, um, anyways, that's what I'm registered for: 63.5 gross weight. And they put it as 46, which is totally wrong. So uh, I have to get that fixed right away. Um, I'm only loading this load uh, probably about. I don't know three kilometers from our yard so i'm gonna load it and bring it back to the yard and hopefully they can send someone in to put some stickers on it and everything goes good and we're back to normal and i can run tomorrow morning with the load without an issue um not that i would believe there'd be an issue but if there was i would be in deep shit they would find me and it would suck. The fine would probably be outrageous. Then they would do a complete inspection of my vehicle and possibly find something else. And then there goes more money to that government, right? They can't get enough of our money. All right, folks, so I had to stop the video there for a sec. Uh, my shop supervisor called uh, and we discussed it. And he said, yeah, somebody, somebody definitely freaked up. Uh, well, I'll have to call the uh, shop Monday morning. He's on vacation, my shop supervisor. So uh, I'll have to call the shop and talk to someone else tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, have them uh, come and fix it. So they're going to have to order new decals uh, so that uh, the numbers match the registration. Um, which is, the, that's something you gotta you got to watch like this. You know, like if you don't catch that there man I, I don't know what the fine would be but I would not want to know I would not want to know one bit what it would be um, but I, I'm sure it would probably be very 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 uh, expensive plus they would probably shut you down just because of the situation so um, you know you're, you're gonna lose money by sitting plus you're gonna get a fine on top of it that'd be rough to take Especially if you were having a bad day. <laughs> right, so. Anyways, that there uh, situation could have escalated to very, very farther. Because, like I said, I come in today, my truck, the color of it has changed. It's no longer pink. Right? Um, and they re-registered the vehicle because it was due. And then put all new decals on it. And to find out that uh, the decals are wrong. So, you know, it's very important you check that stuff out. Um, so, anyways, that there is good. I'm good to go. What he told me to do is to throw some duct tape over it 
and use a black marker, change the numbers for today, um, for me to take the load up tomorrow, and uh, I should be good. They'll get the decals tomorrow for me and put them on tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening, whatever the case may be, because um, our shop runs, our shop runs, uh, I believe it's uh, 7.30 till 10 o'clock at night, so, you know, they're basically there all day long, so, um, that's good, we'll get that there fixed, uh, right now, I just got some pallets put on my truck, and we're gonna go down back here in a minute after, they gotta throw, uh, protector bags on my truck, too, uh, what they are is when they, the, the caps that come off the end of the pipe, they put them in the bags, so, um, I gotta take 19 protector bags up with me too with the pipe and the two pallets to the rig um, so I said to them as long as my gauge doesn't go over on my truck or my trailer we're good to go we'll, we'll load her up the weight don't matter to me I drive this truck rough anyway so weight doesn't matter and when you're an experienced driver uh, you know it don't matter whether you have you know 10,000 pounds on or you have 30,000 pounds on. The only difference is, is you're gonna go up hills better with 10,000 than you will with 30,000. But, still gotta take the load, so, you know, you're still gonna make the same amount of money. Um, actually, um, I'll probably make more because it take me longer time to drive there because of the weight. But, you know, anyways, uh, I'm just waiting for him to come with the bags, so we're gonna wait for that, and we'll see you very shortly. All right, folks. So now we're gonna get loaded. Um, see what's going on here. Uh, I'm basically I'm not allowed to stand near the pipe, so that there's unfortunate. So I got to uh, go stand back here. So we'll see you in a second once I get back there. All right, folks. So I'm getting loaded here now. Um, Got the operator here, he's pretty good guy. Me and him get along pretty good. Uh, carry on a little bit. Um, so I'm getting uh, three tiers plus one on top. I hate that one. Why do they always have that one? But anyways, uh, it is what it is. So we're gonna get loaded here and I'll take her back to the yard. I gotta fix up the decals so that I can be legally, well, not legally, but able to run and if they do pull me in, I fix it up temporarily so that, you know, and it shows in the text that I sent to my shop supervisor to uh, get it fixed. You know, so it's, it's indicated uh, that there is an issue with the decals on the truck. So we'll hopefully be able to have no issues tomorrow, take the load up, come back, reload, go over to the yard, have them fix the decals right then and there and be good to go and not have no problems. So. Anyways, I'm going to get loaded here, and we'll see us in a little bit. All right, folks, so uh, we're about halfway through. Uh, they're going to actually put more joints on. They want to put 50 joints on now. It was supposed to be 49. Now they're going to put 50, so it's going to be three tier and two on top. I guess uh, that's what they're saying. I don't know. That might change in a minute. It's, it's uh, totally weird how they do things here they kind of in the middle of something they just change it up oh yeah no this is how we're gonna do it so anyways um i'm about halfway done so we'll see us in a few minutes when i'm done and i'll let you know exactly how many i got on what i got on and how much i weigh on my gauges so we'll see you in a few minutes all right folks so i'm uh, loaded here uh all together I have 50 joints on board, uh, 19 protector bags, and two pallets. And we'll take a quick look here and just show you. Right. There you have it. Um, that's two pallets, the protector bags, the pipe. Um, my gauge in my truck is just reading under 70. It's about 69. And here on the truck, on the trailer, sorry, on the trailer here, I am reading, as you can see, switch this around for you. Try and switch this around so you can see there. See if you can get that. I don't know if you've got that or not, but it's sitting at just about 60, 
64 or 5, just about 65 on the gauge. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to slide my axles forward. Probably uh, two pinholes. So if you look at these here, these are pinholes. So I'm probably going to go to this one here. Um, just uh, I know uh, my truck, as long as I'm under the 70 mark, I'm good. But where I'm kind of light on the trailer, I would rather have the weight on the trailer than on the truck just because uh, I know I'm always, always, always under on the trailer when I'm hauling. So, you know, it's a safety, safety thing. I, I want to make sure that I'm under on my truck. I mean, it's not that bad. I'm sitting, as you look here, I see if I can show you. I'm sitting... See, I'm sitting, I'm parked right now, sitting just under the 70 mark. I'm literally just under it, so for safety, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, just slide them axles ahead, two holes, um, and that'll be that, that'll be done. So, um, all together, uh, what time is it now? It is now 12.30, and I started at 10.30. So I'm gonna be two and a half hours just getting this load ready to go up. So, which isn't bad. And then I got the, I don't know, the boys are saying it's about a five and a half hour trip. Uh, I think the last time I did it was four and a half. So um, I'm pretty sure it was four and a half. Anyways, I don't know, we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna leave at five just to make sure I get up there for 10. Um, See, because I'm like the rest of them, I don't, st I don't stop. Like I, uh, I just hammer down and I go. I get the job done and get back. I mean, yeah, I might be doing the wrong thing because I'm paid by the hour, but that's not me. I'm not, I'm not like that. I was always a hard worker. I didn't, you know, I did, I, I wasn't a dog fucker, right? That wasn't me. I was never that person. So, anyways, uh, basically, I'm waiting for paperwork now. So I can get out of here. Once I get out of here, uh, I head back to the yard and we'll see you there.